Okay, the last couple of things I'd like to mention for now. Um, one is uh, these little extra boxes that we can see here on the right hand side of each post. Um, once it's, obviously we've got the reply button that we've used. Uh, we've also got a little button here that says quote. If you're replying to maybe not the last post, but one that appeared some time ago, well, let's say we're replying to my old post from here, um, you can you can click quote on there. Um, so let's just go. Oh, I'm going to reply to this one. Quote. So you get the normal reply button, but you get the previous post included as well. So chimney sweep bloke wrote, um, and I'm just going to write, write something else. And now when the post appears, you get it in a slightly different format. You get a list of what was written before, so people know what you're actually replying to. The other box at the end here is this little more box. If you click on it, you'll see edit post, delete post, printer friendly. If you're not happy with what you've written, you can click edit post. It'll bring the post back and you can change it. I'm agreeing with myself here, that's probably not a good example. Uh, and we can resubmit. And you'll notice when you resubmit it, it actually puts on a little tagline here to say it's been edited so that users know that you've edited that post. You'll also see here, delete post. If you're completely not happy with the post that you've written and you want to remove it altogether, you can just click delete post. You'll get a little message saying, are you sure you want to do that? You click OK, post is gone. Last little thing down here is printer friendly. If you view things as printer friendly, it's simply if you want to print that post out, you don't want it a, a whole page of black ink, and uh, you can just click printer friendly, and uh, you're back to a plain black and white page. Oops. Apologies for that. Right, um, so we'll go back to uh, recent posts. So we can see our recent post here. The last thing I want to talk about is private messaging. If you want to send someone a private message, so let's say I want to send a private message to Chimney Doc, you simply click on his uh, profile and you'll see here, you'll see all about Chimney Doc and everything he's written about himself. Uh, and you'll see down here a little button that says send message. You can't see his email address, you can't see anything else about him. But we click send message and you can send a little message. Oops. When you sent it you'll get a confirmation that the message has been sent. That's it, job done. When you receive a private message I should have received a private message now, so I'm just going to log out as Chimney Bloke and I'm going to log back in as myself and I'll see now where it says logged in as Chimney Doc, it says I've got a private message. I can click on that and I can read the private message that Chimney Bloke has sent me. Hi Chimney Doc, and I can reply to it here if I want to. Private messaging is as exactly as it said, it's a private message between you and the sender. None of the other four men members see that post. I think that's enough for now. Uh, suffice to say, if you need any help with the forum, uh, the forum admin, who is Andrew Tennant, and the forum moderators, Lawson White and myself, Mark Haylett, are only too pleased to help. Uh, we're available by private message or email or even on the phone. So please use the forum, please get in touch, and we look forward to hearing from you.